Hello, good evening. Good evening. You are speaking with the Lyran Council. We are glad to be here. Thank you for joining us. Mm, yes. There is much, much that we can touch on this evening. Mm. Where would you like us to start? Mm. We would like to start with we would like to start with a welcoming and greeting to all who are going to be joining us in this co-creation, this pathway of connecting that you are open. We can feel the collective energy which is going to come in to witness this transaction. And it is going to be affecting and helping with the flow of energy as it comes out. So we are mm, greeting all of those who are taking part. Mm. Welcome all. Welcome all. This is a fun place. This is an interesting time that you are all sitting in now. This place, this place of uncertainty, this place of excitement for possibilities of things coming, this place of feeling like you've had the carpet pulled out from underneath your feet, you could say. We understand that there are a lot of you right now who are having to re-evaluate their reality. Lots of illusions are being shattered at a very quick rate. And it is important that you all stay agile during this period. Part of the great shift that we are going through at this time is involving a huge realigning of energies. So some of those things that you have clinged to, that you have clinged to and felt was necessary, a way to believe and view at the world, we would like you to start holding more of a relaxed sense about these things and come to a place of wonder and curiosity as it's really going to help to be grounded in curiosity and wonder when the images start changing, when structures start rearranging, as there is lots of this occurring at this time. It is also very important that all of you are using this time being gifted now for inward reflection. And part of the reason for all of the chaos in the way that it is right now is to cause all of you to reevaluate and understand that which you do hold dear and come to the conclusions of what you would like in your future if you had to rebuild everything, if things were to change. These are important things to ponder. Mm, enjoy pondering. What is a beneficial way to think about the future and what we'd like to see? Mm. It is beneficial to be in the space of knowing that good things are coming and to trust that they are going to make it there. You will not always know how the puzzle pieces are going to fall together but they will fall together the way that they need to. So be open to how you are going to receive and understand that there's going to be lots of change. So it helps to be in the state of going with the flow versus being very, very resistant. When you think of your ideal future, the things that you want, Write them down. When you bring the ideas from your mind's eye to the paper, 
magic starts to happen. There is a bonding of energy from the pure potentiality that is in the realm of the imagination to becoming physical. And when you write them down, you are creating a physical structure. Write down these ideas and put them someplace which you hold dear. It allows, it allows for there to be a focus of energy <clears throat> and be flexible and open to how these things are going to come into your lives because there is a lot of change and restructure which needs to occur. What advice could you give us for, for those that are stuck in, in the fear mind and, and only seeing what's happening around them in a negative view? Mm. Well, there's a few ways to look at this, you see. Fear is a normal response to a degree and you would not be human if you did not feel a sense of fear it warns you to danger but that being said these emotions are and feelings that come about are to warn you but you have to be fluid in it and always find time to come back to joy. Now, whether or not some of these things that you are scared of are even true, in some circles, they very well can be. But being aligned with that energy doesn't do anything other than pull you out of the space that you actually want to be in. So do not judge yourself for feeling fear or occasionally being in fear as it is a normal response when you are assessing your surroundings especially during turbulent times but our biggest suggestion is to minimize the time that you spend there minimize it more and more by bringing in things that you enjoy doing start bringing in the activities which bring you peace, the activities which bring you play. And the more time you spend in these energies, the more it will help you cope with some of the other and help you to start tweaking your viewpoints on it. Do you foresee this time we have to reflect being extended out further, or is it going to end soon? Mm. There's a few ways to frame this. Mm. The reflecting period is going to continue for a while, as some of you have not caught on yet that that is what you're supposed to be doing. Mm. This quiet time, you see not everybody is in quiet time and in a space of reflecting. There are those that during this time of crisis have been busier than what they've ever been in their lives and are dealing with a lot more than they ever have. So this period of reflection is going to be cyclical in the sense that those that are immersed in this activity, they will have down time and a period during the healing of this where reflecting is going to come in strongly for them. They are doing some through this time, but there will be, there will be cycles of energy, you could say, that are going to happen, which are going to affect different groups of people. And as each individual group of people start doing their reflecting and are coming to terms with things that are important to them, whether you guys are aware of this or not, energetically, these vibrations that you're coming to 
are filling in the links of a collective puzzle, you could say. As there are many of you right now that have realized how important spending time with your families are, how important they are all to you. And to what degree it's okay that work gets in the way. And to what degree of items did you really need in your life? What are the necessities? Lots of you are taking tolls of your necessities. And as those lists start to match up with others' lists, energetically, they are combining into a joint force. This is bringing you all together in a very strong way. Even though you're in isolation, a lot of the energies that you are coming home to are joining forces. And together, you are creating a better future. Absolutely. And it does get me thinking about certain people not taking, not utilizing this time that's been given to them. Is it possible for those people that haven't got it yet to miss the boat, so to say, on this energy? Some will, in the sense that it will make the rest of the ride a little bit rougher. During this ascension process, this cycle of energy that is coming in is the great awakening. There are many layers and stages that the world is going to go through on a collective stage. Now, not everybody is going to be at the same layer at the same time. And there are some of those who are not using this time for what it should be. And they will catch up, but it will be, they'll have more homework to do, you could say, as things progress moving forward but they will, they will come along. All of you are being called to different pieces of a puzzle, you could say, that need to be observed. And some of these ones that you can see that are straying off in the distance that aren't really connected in the same way, they're calling to observe a part of the program which needs to be addressed. and us observing what they're going through is aiding in the healing still because it is highlighting certain thought patterns and it's highlighting different forms of disconnection that can be healed during this process. Wonderful. Will the people that do miss this and have a harder time, will they have opportunities to springboard once they start figuring this out? Yes, we like this term, springboard. There are many of those springboards coming up. And different groups are going to launch off of different boards at different times when their collective energies come together. So this entire process, the speed of it, is determined partially by the speed upon which you are all doing your homework, you could say. Because as the collective energy reaches a certain level, it then allows for the creation of a springboard for them to be launched off into the next stage. Now, so there are going to be large groups that are gonna to travel together, and there are going to be some individuals which prefer to travel alone, you could say, that will spend more time venturing in their own worlds, in their own ways, before they collide back in with the collective. We are coming together. And it will happen when it's meant to. And it will happen at a different rate for different people and different countries all over the world. Even though there's a huge, huge collective threat, there are 
nuances to the energies that everybody is experiencing depending on their backgrounds. So these groups that are creating springboards together, is this happening consciously? No. It is not. Some might kind of feel like they're creating something together, but you're all being called to come together. And a lot of the things that are going to happen are going to occur so naturally to everybody. So we would like you all to not fret about this process because you are all being divinely guided. Trust your internal guidance systems because it is pulling you in the directions that you need to go. And not all of you are going the same direction and that's perfectly fine because there are many energy systems which need tending to. And the more you come together and heal, the lighter you become, the more weight you take off of the others. And it allows them to move through easier. Perfect. What is your perspective on potential mandatory vaccine? Hmm. Yes, <clears throat> this is a potential conflict that you can definitely feel in the air. And this is one which does need to be sorted. And every time individually you look at the situation and you have feelings towards it, you are casting your vote, you could say. We would like to say that there are lots of shadows that are being pulled out right now. And it is important for a sense of transparency. It is important to be able to look at the sources and the reasonings behind these objectives. But as a species, there is lots that you need to work out. And this is a huge huge healing which needs to occur on the planet. Decisions need to be made. So stay in some of this decision-making process so that all of the choices aren't made for you would be what we would like to say. So it will be possible for us all to be to have participation in that decision-making process? Energetically, you all collectively have an impact on how all of these decisions come to play in fruition. As a collective energy, <clears throat> when you come together, you are very strong. And we would say that it does matter. We would say your energetic alignments to what is important to you is more important in the final outcome than say casting a vote in a system that is designed to be faulty. Energetically, your votes always count. So how do we help people become aware of the power they have in their attention in casting these votes? This is one of the big lessons of the time now, isn't it? As you are all taking stock on the things that are important to you. 
there's a lot that is coming forth right now, which is causing people to question the authorities that are in front of them, causing people to question this questioning that people are doing is important. It is important for people to be aligned with the need for a sense of transparency. And we would like to say to you all during this process is remember that you are all divine beings with immense creative power and the world before the days that have been used to try to snuff out everybody's light and power are behind us and people are coming in to their power and the vaccine possibility we are not saying that this is a finite reality it's in the field of potential this is this is being used to help wake people up and help them to direct their attention to that which is important so what advice can you give people that are struggling with the shadows that are coming up to the surface and there are the people in particular that aren't, that are kind of pushing it away or stuffing it down further. Those of you that understand and have been having success with working through your shadows, it is helpful to be able to reach out to those that are still struggling. It is normal throughout this time period that there's going to be lots of emotions which are going to arise, lots of struggles which are making themselves apparent to be dealt with. And you are human, and you are meant to feel emotions, and you need to let them flow. Do not get stuck. Let them flow. It is necessary for healing. There are lots of healers which are being awakened on your planet. And lots of healers are being awakened to help these individuals through this process. There are many types. We know that this channel and yourself practice quantum healing hypnosis and this is one of many very powerful tools to help individuals through this awakening process so we would like to say for those that feel lost recognize that feeling and look out for those who are offering guidance and those of you that feel like you are in the position that you need to be reaching out with healing modalities do so because there are many who are looking and this is going to be a very busy busy area for some time you will is help it, each other through this is it possible or even beneficial to try to help people who are doubling down on the 3D and not acknowledging any of this healing modality work? Some may just need more time. Not all of the eggs are ready to be cracked. This process will be smoother for those that have the sense of ease and are willing to go with the flow and the changes that are occurring. There are some of those who have a lot more resistance to these ideas. And we would say do never try to force anyone along. But as the masses start healing and changing their perception, then it will make it more accessible to those that at this time wish not to acknowledge this world there will come a time where it will be impossible not to acknowledge this world so do not worry 
about those that aren't ready to see it. They're just not ready. And when the time is right, they will. I just want them to get there now. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Mm. Well, for those that maybe aren't ready or aren't aware, could you give us your perspective on what this ascension process is and what ascension is to you? Yes, we can. So for those that are new to this concept, what we can explain it as is a global accelerated sense of evolution. Whereas up until this point, different <clears throat> groups have been evolving at different rates depending on their environment. And there have been lots of cycles on the planets of civilizations reading, reaching a certain point and then needing to start over because mm. they were not aligned in the way that they should have been. But right now, on a global scale, every soul on this planet is being called to wake up from their slumber is being called to be aware that they are more than what they thought to be aware that they really are a piece of god that they really are connected to the entirety of the cosmos and they are not this small little speck that they thought they were. It is calling everyone to be aware. And when this is happening on a global scale, it is creating a new way upon which all of you are going to interact. And it's going to create new structures, new formats for business, new ways of eating and being and living in harmony with the planet in a way that is more natural to you all than what you would think. You have all become very disconnected from yourselves and you had to go through a period of forgetting so that you could remember. But now we're in the remembering cycle and you are all being called, you're being called to realize the importance of taking care of Gaia and the importance of taking care of each other and the importance of taking care of yourselves. There has been much that has been neglected and those things that have been neglected are becoming very apparent now so that they can be healed and you can move on from this. It is a very exciting time as there are many beings who are here to help during this process. It is very exciting to see an entire species go through such a rapid form of evolution and awakening. Thank you for that explanation. You are very welcome. And just for the viewers, could you maybe define what you mean by God? Mm. Our definition is very broad. It is really the sense of divine love. We refer to God in the sense of referring to source as the grand central sun, the source of all creation, the energy that we are all birthed from, the pool of unconditional love that loves every bit of life that exists because every bit of life is a part of source. Some pieces are just wrapped in a little bit more shadow than the rest. Mm. Wonderful, thank you. Yes. 
Do you have a parting message for us tonight? Mm. A parting message would be that you are all moving along just fine. You are more on schedule than what you think. And try not to get caught up too much in the predictions for this needs to happen by this time and this needs to happen by here. Because there is much that is happening that is just not in your awareness. And there are some things which will come in intentionally when you're not looking for it. So we encourage you all to appreciate yourselves for all of the hard work that you have done mm. and open your hearts it is very important during this time to open your hearts and feel the love as there is much love that is coming into existence there is much love that you are all reaching for and the more of you that are reaching out for love, the more has to be born into existence. I felt that one. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You are very welcome. And we are looking forward to a continued dialogue as there are many, many pieces which we will gladly tease out. Yes, a half hour might not be long enough. <laughs> Which is perfectly fine for helping <clears throat> people get accustomed to our energy, you could say. Sounds good. Well, thank you again. You are welcome. Mm. That flew by. <laughs> that was half an hour already? Yeah, right? Wow. So, yeah, usually you, Michelle and I do this for an hour or more. <laughs> Yeah, I think we've almost been like an hour and a half to two hours at yes. some time. So this was like a blip. <laughs> it was, and it, it is interesting. I, and I could feel, because um, we, we are new to doing this, to doing this with the intention of sharing with a large amount of people. And I felt like I could feel this grand sense of connection and expansion out from where they were speaking from. Um, it was really quite quite beautiful in that sense. Very cool. Yeah, and the questions I was getting really had that in mind. I was really feeling like these other ener energies, like asking me questions. <clears throat> Almost like they're questions that are on like, like in the air from the collective. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and it's interesting. We need clarification I mean, on this. We need clarification on that. Yeah, and it's, and I know that there's more to be that can be teased out, but you know, even for example, like when you were talking about like the vaccines, I could, I could feel the, how all of these things have such a great importance to make us look and evaluate everything. And that nothing is, you know, like that it's not concrete that this has to happen, but the idea that it can, and the idea that, um, yeah, I, that things could be rushed as well. I know the first thing that instantly comes, you know, that I could feel energetically when they're doing this is even re in response to the other vaccines. Like I, I understand the, the importance of them and they do make sense, but it also doesn't make sense that the amount of toxicity that exists in them exists there. So for me, I've always felt like, the, the pull to can we if we need to do this can we do it in a better way right exactly <clears throat> yeah and i haven't really thought too much about this potential vaccine but it just came to me because i know what i know i'm aware of it and the potential for it so i was just curious what they had to say about it yeah and I, I, I feel like, you know, the sense that they were getting at is right now all of these different things that are being pulled up are meant to make us take stock and evaluate and again just really that you know strong sense of reflection to what's important and why and how much do we accept that from 
you know, like an outside source saying that this is important versus what have we really looked and reflected inwards and come up with. Right. And I really liked what they said about casting your vote through just your intention, attention to an idea or attention to anything really. Yeah. Which makes a lot of sense to me. And I had never thought of it like that, but if, you know, in this, this idea of claiming your space, like energetically, because if you're in the energy of just being wishy-washy, oh, it doesn't matter, you know, like this and that, then you're letting that creative field be open to all of those others that have a really strong, yeah, this matters to me. Whereas energetically, when you can come into that place of just knowing how you feel about it, then your energy is connected in that way. And there's less room for somebody else to take up all of that sense of, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Very good point. So that's a good, that's a good takeaway from this video is I think really start paying attention to your thoughts and how you approach things like that. Yeah. Which does make a lot of sense. And I hadn't thought about, yeah, that the, you know, casting a vote in that way, but it does make sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause we are in this collective soup of all of these beings working together to create this world. And, and yeah, and so yeah, even thinking about like the law of, of attraction and what we put out is what we get. So when we choose not to make decisions or have thoughts or feelings about it, it just makes room for others to step more into that space. So energetically, even if you feel like you're, you're powerless, you're not like you're, you're, you're connected to everybody else. We're all connected to each other. Yeah. And we're feeling that more and more now today. Yeah, that's one thing I do love about what's happening is everyone is getting a sense of how connected we really are. Yeah, I don't see that. I don't see that being undone. Because we kind of saw it happen after 9-11. And then it it slowly slowly went away. But I don't I don't see that going away this time. (laughs) Yeah, well, I mean, something like this. I mean, you I, I don't think we can go back to the way things were before. And I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I don't really want to either. Want like, either. No. Um, but before wasn't working. So yeah. it's, yeah. Yeah. And there's so much we can say about that, but. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is. But it, it is exciting to feel like energetically we're in this place of where I feel like there's a bit of a blank slate in creativity and that we each get, we each get a say in to us what the ideal situation is yeah and i feel like these pressures that are coming up are kind of are are coming up to make us find that to make us find within ourselves what yeah what's important so take advantage of this time we have (laughs) yes take advantage of it spend time in meditation and reflection and i don't know how many of you have been meditating during this time but the energies I feel like I've been able to connect to, I, I feel like they're getting stronger on a regular basis, that there's so much love and support being brought down from our guides for us. Yeah, it's intense. It's intense. It's right there. It's very accessible. This, this is the best I've been able to meditate is, is right now <laughs> in this yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah which is kind of funny when you think about it. <laughs> it took a pandemic. It took a pandemic. <laughs> but. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of like the materials that were, you, you use to create something out of clay. Like that's our, those are our materials to work with. Yeah. So tap into them. They're there. They're available. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Yes. Well, no, the, the Lyrans, I, 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 I love their, their energy and their sense of wanting to tease out so many details. Um, yeah. And I, I know that they have a lot that they're going to want to share with us going forward. So I'm looking forward to opening up that dialogue with them. There was so much more I want to go into them with, with them, but I'm like, okay, well, that's past 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Trying to keep this somewhat structured. <laughs> Yeah, it's so easy for us to trail off in a million different topics when we're going through and <laughs> talking to them. Um, but yeah, I think that's a good place to end things for today. Yes, sounds good. Okay. Well, we'll see you guys next time. 
see you all next time. Enjoy your meditations. Enjoy your meditations. And if there are any questions that have come up, like for anybody during that, uh, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. And uh, we will watch them and grab a couple, possibly for the next video. Yeah, yeah, please do that. Awesome. Okay, take care, everyone. Bye, everyone.